How do I switch back and forth between gaming VMs and using my gaming GPU on my Linux host? This is one of the most common questions I get, and it's not something I have the perfect answer to, but it's something I'd love to show you. Hi, I'm Steve, and this is Bland Man Studios, where I make creative stuff and talk about the technology behind it. If you've seen my VFIO demo video, my benchmark and latency tests, my looking glass demo, or my tutorial series, you probably know all about my setup, where I play Windows exclusive video games in a virtual machine running on Linux. The question left behind is, what if I want to stop using the gaming VM and start using my gaming GPU on the host so I can play a game on Linux or run any other graphically accelerated program? Today I'll tell you about my old answer, something you can try if you have an AMD GPU, my new answer, and how you can set up the same thing. Theoretically, what we're trying to do here is start my computer in VFIO mode and play some GPU accelerated game in a VM with a dedicated gaming GPU passed into the VM. Then I want to shut down that VM, unbind the VFIO driver from the GPU, bind the GPU driver to the GPU, and then run a GPU accelerated application like a video game on the host. Then when I'm done with that, I would like to be able to switch back to VFIO mode. The idea is to be able to do this as easily and smoothly as possible, so we can have the best of both worlds. My first answer to this was a total cop-out. My first answer was to just say, it's impossible or way too inconvenient. I decided the only GPU accelerated programs I would run would be in virtual machines. And if I wanted to play a game on Linux, I would just have to do it in a Linux VM. Ultimately, that's not an answer, and it was difficult to maintain because I had so many operating systems on my computer all at once. Okay, so what can you try if you have an AMD GPU? First, go to the VFIO subreddit wiki here and read this article. It's not the most user-friendly tutorial, so it might require some interpretation on the part of the reader, but supposedly if you have an AMD GPU, you can use DRI3 to get your GPU to easily bind and unbind from the GPU driver so you can switch from passing it into a VM and it being used on the host without needing to restart your windowing environment. I haven't been able to get this working because I have an NVIDIA GPU, but it could be an awesome solution. If you get a chance to try it, definitely let me know in the comments how it works out for you. Okay, so what is my solution? Well, the problem with the NVIDIA driver is if you install the NVIDIA driver and it binds to the GPU and you start using it on the host, the driver doesn't want to let go. You may be able to force it to unbind by killing every graphical application and your windowing environment, but at that point you might as well just reboot. So that's what my answer is. I wrote a couple of aliases and saved them to my bash RC file, and now I can use them to quickly reboot my PC and switch into either VFIO mode or NVIDIA mode. It works like this. First I start by running a game in a VM, then I can shut down the VM, open a terminal, and run NVIDIA reboot. My computer will reboot and be ready for me to do GPU accelerated work on the host. For example, I can prototype a game using Unreal Engine. Then I can run VFIO reboot and my computer will start up again and it will be ready for GPU accelerated virtual machines. And I can start one up like this. So how does this work for you to set it up? If you followed along with my tutorial series, linked in the description, you probably set up a Linux command line argument that stubs out your GPU so that it's not used by the GPU driver and it can be used by the VFIO driver, and that probably looks like this. First, what we want to do is create a command that edits our grub config to remove that stub argument. Then, if you add this to the end of the command, it will apply the grub settings if that command successfully executes. This will allow a GPU driver to bind to the graphics card on the next reboot. Then, if we add this, it will reboot immediately after the grub config is successfully applied. I don't want to have to type out this big three-part command every time, so let's create a shorthand using the alias command. It looks like this. But also, to have this shorthand available to us every time we start up a terminal, let's add it to our bashrc file. 
Then let's add another alias for switching back into VFIO mode, which re-enables those stub arguments. Let's save the file and close out of the terminal. And then when we open a new terminal, those aliases should be available. We can type alias to see what our aliases are, and we can see the new ones are right here. Then we can use the new command. I'll type NVIDIA reboot, and now the computer is going to restart, and when it starts, it will start as if we don't have VFIO enabled. If you have the GPU drivers installed like I do, your gaming GPU is ready to be used. If not, you'll need to install the right drivers for your GPU. If you're using Fedora and an NVIDIA GPU, this doc linked in the description is probably a good place to start. From there, you're good to go. I can run VFIO reboot to get back to VFIO mode, and I can launch a VM and we're back. Sometimes if I forget which mode my computer is in, I'll run this command, cat proc command line, to see which command line arguments are applied on the currently running operating system. And if I see PCI stub IDs, I'll know that my PC is in VFIO mode and I can start using gaming VMs. I hope that made sense. I hope this is helpful to those of you out there that are looking for ways to tweak and tune your VFIO setup, or maybe you're enjoying learning about this tech and you'll join in the fun after we iron out these pain points. Either way, thank you for watching. I'd love to know what you think of this solution or if you have a solution for switching back and forth, and I'd love to know what kind of video you'd like to see next, so let me know in the comments and don't forget to stay bland.